Hi, and welcome to Bricolage with Pink Girly. I'm Lori, and um, this is a little bit of a spinoff from my last live when I was playing with alcohol inks. And uh, while I was uh, working at my desk and my guests were chiming in and helping me with the process, uh, one of the gals recommended that I spray my inked item and then dab up the moisture with a paper towel. And so I tried that and I got some really cool images, which then got me to thinking, why not try that with some other materials? So bricolage is creating with a variety of diverse things that you have available. And so I had some rice paper. So here are some of the prints that I've gotten. This is tracing paper, and I didn't um, separate these. You probably can tell rice paper from tracing paper. Let's see here. This is cool, right? This, the ink was a little heavier. And then during the live, uh, Devin from Devin rex for art said she when she puts alcohol in her jelly plate and then say maybe puts down a piece of deli paper she sprays alcohol on top of the deli paper and it just kind of soaks up the print but i did this without my my jelly plate and i can't remember who in the stream suggested putting down the paper towel i don't want to guess incorrectly but if I figure that out, I'll put her name in the description box and give her a little shout out. And then I, this morning I tried an envelope. <clears throat> I thought, well, maybe an envelope would work. So when I decided to do this video, I pulled out some other things that I'm going to go ahead and try to sop up a print with. So what I did in my last slide is I had just embossed <clears throat> several things. Now these were embossed on uh, foil tape. This is heavy duty tin foil. Uh, this again, these are embossings that I did on the tape and you can see I've already inked them. And this again is the heavy duty foil, heavy duty foil and the tape. Now some of them you can see I already have some ink on but I'm still going to use those as I play with uh, some other things that I have out. Now I only have a few colors and I'm using the Jacquard Pinata line of alcohol inks and I'm just going to start. So all I did was really just put down a piece of my embossed material and I'm going to use my hands because that's what I'm comfortable with and uh, they really clean up pretty pretty good a couple of scrubs at the sink and you know you're usually good to go so that doesn't bother me so much so I've got some alcohol now I did go one of the gals suggested using I had uh, I think 70 percent alcohol and she suggested 91 which i had my husband pick up for me D to tell you the truth when i sprayed that on i didn't really see that much of a difference um but i am using the 91 percent for this little adventure here so i'll show you what i've done uh, let me just let me start with something plain so this hasn't had any alcohol on it at all yet so I apologize for the glare, but that, that'll go away when they put a little bit of color down. So let's do kind of a rainbow -y effect. I'm going to start with some blue. I'm just going to drip a little bit on of the ink. Now, sometimes when I do my videos, I kind of, I feel like I need to rush. And so if I get talking fast, I apologize. I want to thank you for joining me. And if you learn something or enjoy the video and can give me a thumbs up that would be fabaruni i would appreciate that and if you would leave me a comment oh my gosh i love comments and i love to respond 
and if I can help you with anything, I sure do like to do that as well. All right, so I'm just putting a little bit of this alcohol ink on my foil. I'm not pressing hard. You know, I should have probably started with the yellow because that's the lighter color. Oops, didn't you pull me out any paper towels here. Let me get a paper towel. A couple of my prints, of course, were on paper towels, which I just found to be interesting. So let me start again here at the bottom. So I'm just smooshing this around. Now I have a silicone mat underneath of me here. And when I blend this orange and yellow together, after that, I'm going to wipe off my finger. Because then I want a nice, clean blend with my magenta and my orange. I'm going to clean my finger again as I go from my magenta into my blue and that turns into a yummy purple and then again now you can use different fingers right you don't have to use the same finger I'm just kind of used to using that center finger so I've got a fair amount of ink on there and I'm just going to spritz it with the plain alcohol and so first I'm going to show you the uh, tracing paper. I'm just going to pop that on top and lightly press. Now I found that if I smushed it, I move the ink around and it does smear, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I'm trying to sop up that extra moisture. And so you can see that I had a good amount of alcohol spritzed on there. See, so now I'm going to do that again. Because I sopped up a lot of that moisture. Now I'm going to push this down a second time. And try to get a different print. Now I'm not pressing hard enough where I'm pushing the imprint of the embossing you know what i mean like ruining that i'm really just kind of tapping 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 see and that's a little better now if i take a piece of paper towel let's see how much moisture i have left not too much so let's proceed. There's still there's still a little bit on there. I mean, if you had a plain paper towel, my paper towels have an imprint. So I'm using the back side, excuse me, which isn't as um, detailed. I'm going to try to lay that back down. Same color areas instead of flipping it. Now you can use any colors you want. I'm using the inks that I have. If I had a nice array of Tim Holtz vintage primitive looking inks, I would be using those because that's really kind of the color palette I mostly uh, like to work in. I, I mean, I love color, but um, this is what I have. So that's what I'm using today. So isn't that cool? And you can continue to do that. Now I picked up some paper um, three by five cards. So I'm going to just continue to spritz this a little. See how much of this we can pick up, if anything. You know, now rather than have a jelly plate down, I'm picking up this image without a jelly plate. I see that my camera's popping a little bit. Let me move my camera down a little bit sometimes that helps now you might be saying okay what do you what in the world is she going to use those for you can use them for the backgrounds of a greeting card atc card um a little rip or tear of it on a um mixed media piece a collage page and some of this tissue paper that i have that i've printed on you could use that in, in a journal um, as part of your signature. I love having those flimsy little pages down. All right, let's try this butterfly. This butterfly I already inked. 
and that's been sitting on there since uh, I think I did this one yesterday. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to spritz it. Let's see if there's anything left there to pick up. Just going to use the three by five. I didn't spritz it a lot. That's not giving me too much. Now let's go ahead and use a piece of, this is a piece of, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this cause I don't need the whole piece. This is a piece of rice paper. I'm gonna spritz it again. And just tapping down real gentle to try to get that image of the butterfly wings and pick up some. It's going to be very abstract, but that's okay. Yeah, that's not so great, is it? Let's put some more ink on. So now this one's already got some alcohol on it. So it might move a little differently. So that's some of that magenta. And I'm going to use the blue. I love the color that the blue and the magenta together make. Well, maybe let's put a little blue up here. And let's get a little bit of yellow. And every time I say yellow, I want to sing, they call me mellow yellow. Let's see, let's get a little bit of, oh, that's orange. Hmm, I don't think I want the green. How about a little purple? A little dot of purple here, there, and everywhere. Let's start with my yellow first. Oh, that's kind of making a grungy, grunginess. Ooh. That looks kind of cool that's making like a burgundy dark burgundy oh paper towel let's get some of this now the difficulty with this this is a 3d embossing folder by tim holtz that um it embosses and cuts and so it's just a little butterfly so he looks cool I'm going to take this and spritz it again. Ooh, ooh. And I'm going to put this sheet of um, rice paper back down that I used earlier that didn't really do too much. Kind of was out of control. Now, this might not be for everybody, but I did do some that I really liked. So I thought, well, you know, let me just see. Well, now that that's kind of a hot mess there, isn't it? Yeah, I don't like that so much. Now let's see if there's anything left to. And you'll find with your own stash of things, uh, if you have in any bossing folders, you're going to like some better than you like others. Just like anything else. You like some stamps better than others. All right, so the butterfly, eh, not so much. Let's try this little, these remind me of little um, flowers from that song. She had flowers in her hair. Flowers everywhere. Do, do, do. All right. Let's get serious here. Let's try some orange. Now you see I don't have any orange on here. But I'm gonna, now you can use a brush. I've used some brushes earlier. And I used some brushes in my last live. You can certainly put on a pair of plastic gloves if that would be your preference. But I pulled out a couple of other things that I wanted to try. And I haven't tried them ahead of time. So I don't know how it's going to go. 
Now, just for the fun of it, let's get a brush. And I have this brush sitting in some alcohol, but it's not super clean. Trying to clean most of it off in the paper towel. And I'm just going to move this around as best I can. The little bottle of alcohol my husband got me, I didn't realize it came in different sizes, although he was hard pressed to find the one that he did. He had to get down on his hands and knees because the shelf was empty. <laughs> I'm going to spritz this just a little so I can maybe mix some of these. Oh, see, now I can see that mixing a little better than the last time. See, I just find that rubbing it with my finger, it just um, covers the area and fills in a little better. I'm leaving that, that orange quite heavy. All right, so now I'm going to spritz it again, and let's try again with the tissue paper. Just kind of gently lay it down. Sorry for that little crunchy noise. It's kind of curling up on me. Let me see, can you see? Where it's just picking up in those raised areas. And I'm just gently rubbing across the top. Now let's see. See, I think that's really cool. Super cool. Now I'm going to spritz it again. And let's try the tag. Now this has some coffee dye on it. Of course, I've got tags somewhere in my room, but I couldn't find them. So you can see it's starting to, to bleed through. Now, Devin Rex had mentioned she had sprayed alcohol on top of her deli paper that was on her jelly plate. So I might do that with, I haven't tried it with the uh, rice paper. I did try it with some of my tissue paper. Okay, now I think that is really cool. Let me see, I'm going to try to get another little bit of a print over here. Hmm? I like that. I like that a lot. Then I was, okay, let's try this. This is rice paper. Oh, let me spritz it again. Now, I still have that first um, bit of ink. I haven't, I haven't re-inked it. And let's take another piece of tissue paper. And I'm going to spritz these with the alcohol on top as well. See if that makes sense any bit of a difference. They're a lot wetter, that's for sure. And if you do this, make sure you're in a big open room where you've got plenty of ventilation. It's got some good spots. Let's check this rice paper. I think that's kind of cool too. You're going to get messy. Unless you wear gloves, you're going to get messy. Then I'm thinking, how about a piece of fabric? I wonder how much it'll bleed if I do fabric. So I'm going to switch from the, mm, I kind of like the flowers. Let's, let's try the flowers again. I'm going to add some more ink. I'm going to try not to squeeze as much ink as I have been. So I'm going to move it around with my finger. Like I said, it's a little easier for me to move it around with my finger. Oops, got two drips on that one. 
Uh, I like the orange. No, that's yellow. So guess what Lori's going to be putting on her wish list? <laughs> Alcohol inks. Alcohol inks. Uh, what's that other one? Green. This is the rainforest green, so it's really a blue green. Now, I haven't tried the fabric. Now, again, this is just on my desk. I have a silicone mat down, and I'm just rubbing that ink around into the crevices of my embossed foil. And again, this is, uh, I think I'll use this finger. This is a heavy duty foil. When I went and checked the foil that we had available in the kitchen, um, the regular tin foil was just too too flimsy and I thought about trying the non-stick but hubby wasn't having it he didn't want he didn't want me to he didn't want me to take his non-stick foil so I was a good girl all right so I'm going to spritz this but I'm going to take a print up first of um something else because I want to take up a lot of that extra moisture to maybe not have as much moisture um, bleed in my um, fabric. So th this is an envelope that I've put inside of an env envelope to make like the cover of a journal. And I'm just going to see, because I did do that other envelope. I'm going to just see what kind of a print I might get from this. Now I'm just gently giving that a little sop up. See, I like that because it's not everywhere. I'm going to try to get a little bit more, I think, on the bottom here. So to me, that's a cool cover. Oh, I like it. Now, there's still some moisture, but I'm going to spritz just a little, little bit more. It's not real puddly because I took up some of that ink. So let's see what this is um, more of an open weave kind of a not really like a burlap. It's uh, a muslin type, but not like a tight weave muslin. So it looks like I'm getting a little bit. But I'm wondering if I spritz it with the alcohol, if I'll get more. Let's try. Oh, that's cool. That is super cool. Now, of course, not all fabric is created equal, right? So I've got some different fabric here. Let me try. This is a, um, like a tighter weave linen type of, um, let's see. Gosh, it's long and narrow. I think it's a napkin. Maybe it's a napkin, a vintage type napkin. I'm going to use these, um, I think, are dandelions that have gone to seed. So I'm going to use a little bit of my pink. It's not really pink, it's magenta. And I'm going to add a little bit of orange. A little bit of yellow and I'm just going to blend those all together now I keep recapping because alcohol evaporates so I'm assuming that it would evaporate right if I leave my caps off, I don't know. I just really don't know a whole lot about it. Now I've got a Q-tip here. I'm going to put a little alcohol on that and just clean up around these flowers a little bit in my stems. 
I want to be able to see the pattern of those flowers pretty well. Maybe I could use the end of my paper towel. All right, I'm a little nervous about this. Let's try. Let's try a piece of this fabric first. Same con I did last on the last one. Move this out of the way. This is attaching itself to my that's very subtle. And that took look like it took up most of the ink. So maybe I'll come in here with some purple. My purple ink seems to be a little thicker. Let's spritz it a little. See if I can get that to move a little better. Now I'm not going to tear the fabric because I can tear that later and use it, um, you know, in a cluster or however. Let's just see. I'm going to spray some more. And I can really see that that ink is moving a little bit and making little little funky marks kind of. That's very blotchy. I'm gonna move it right over. Make a second print. So that I can see a little bit of detail down here. Not so much over there. I thought this would work a little bit better, but this is a very fine, it's very thin, very fine. Now I have a piece of, oh, let's see, this is a canvas, more of a canvas type fabric. Let's try this. I'm going to go, I'm going to put some black ink on here, right on top of the purple. So if you experiment, you find out some stuff, leave me a message. I would love to know what you find out. Because once, once you get going and doing some things, you know, you get different ideas. And now I just want to make sure I'm cleaning my finger off on the paper tail. All right, let's see now. I've used this for something else, but it's on the back, it's pretty clean. And of course, this is black, so I should be able to tell what comes up. And I can see it's soaking up a little bit, but I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to tell that design. It could be that this is not well, a little bit. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna switch over to the, um, I have a honeycomb type of look here. Now, this already has ink on it. Purple, magenta, I've got some yellow, and then black on top. So, this was from the other day. So, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get anything on the fabric. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Can you see that? It's very uh, subtle down in there. And of course, down here, you can see a lot more of the uh, design of the embossed piece of foil. 
that worked a lot better. Let's see how that looks. If I spritz it again, now again, this is 91% alcohol. Don't have much color left there. Just going to use this index card. See what I can get. Can you see? It's kind of light on the screen. See how it's starting to soak up? So just like with the jelly plate, there's a learning curve. Nice. That's nice. I love that. Cool beans. Let's see, what else did I pull out here? I kind of like that honeycomb. Let's try the honeycomb on. Oh, I just want to do a piece of um I'm gonna stay with the same colors I have kind of down here. And so that's my purple, my magenta. I've got uh, yellow here. I think I might throw in a little bit of orange. Put some yellow at the bottom and some orange. And I'm going to start at the bottom with the yellow and just... I'm not cleaning my finger this time, just working my way. Working my way back to you, babe. With a burning love inside. Woohoo! I've lost my paper towel. There we go. All right. So that's quite juicy. I'm going to take a piece of tissue paper. That looks really cool down there. I smeared it when I brought it up. The other thing I thought is off camera before I started the video. I tried to dry it, so that kind of helped a little bit. But even though that all mushed together, I really kind of like that. Let's get a piece of rice paper. I'm running out of things to sop it up with. Let's cut this one in half. Let's give us a little more. To work with. So this is like a second print. I didn't add any more alcohol or any any more ink or any more plain alcohol. Now I'm going to use my heat gun. Let's just see what happens. Now with this alcohol, see, let me keep your gun moving. I don't know if this would catch fire, but you can see me here. You know, just don't do anything crazy. I didn't hit it for that long. That seems to be a little better. Now, I still got plenty of color on there. So this is the first one. Let's hit this one with the heat gun. That's not too bad. Oh, I just realized I have some. Oh, let me take a sip of my my beverage. Let's just see here. I've got some book pages here. Never thought about book pages. I'm going to spritz it a little more. <clears throat> I'm liking these. All right, all right, smack dab on top of the letters. Let's 
So that's sucking up some of the extra moisture, not much. So we'll just we'll do the we'll do this one this way. Nice. Nice. Now I'm still using the same ink. I haven't re-inked, right? So that's good. I'm gonna rip this book page in half. This time the book page. I'm going to spritz some alcohol on top as well. See if that does anything different. It's like all of a sudden you see the ink going, which is kind of cool. Nice. I was quite heavy handed down here with that purple. Like I said, that purple, they're all the same brand, but the purple ink seems to be a little more intense. Of course, it's intense in color, but I mean the way it's constructed, it seems to be a thicker consistency than my other ones. So I think that's kind of cool. What else? Oh, you know what I have here I wanted to try? I have some... Um, pattern tissue paper I had cut apart for some squares for a, a something some kind of soft covered journal let's try a little piece of this now don't forget bricolage means creating with a diverse variety of available things And a lot of us save trash, right? And uh, try to think outside the box and use some different things we might have available. That looks cool too. If I do say so myself. Now I had another, I think I wanna go back to my flowers. See, I still think I can uh, spray this. Oh, let's, you know what? Let's just do a, um, a three by five while I've got it here. Give it another little spritzer. Let's see how am I on time? Not too bad. I don't want the video to be too terribly long. But you get going and geez, you just get one idea after another. Now, if you were doing this, you certainly could take a little um, you know, like a little composition book like this and just open it up and do, do a page. That's an idea. Sweet, huh? Sweet. All right, I really liked my flowers. So I think what I'm going to do is to help the alcohol ink that's on there move, I'm going to spray it with some alcohol first. And then I'm going to add my inks, my ink dinks. Just, you know, I have only so many colors to use. I do love that magenta. I'm really not a pink person, but I do like it. This green's a little blue, more, a little too blue for me. I mean, I love green, but I think I'm more lean towards the uh, yellow greens. For whatever reason. Because normally green is my first go-to. Green and then I like, looks like I'm fuzzing out a little bit. I'm really not paying too much attention to the screen. Look, I, I really loaded this up. All right, so let me move this around. 
move my purple around. I'm going to put a little purple up here, maybe a little over here. I think it may be time for another paper towel. And we'll get this yellow moving. Come in here with my orange, and this can go into my magenta. Oh, I'm loving that right there. So if you were thinking, oh, it might be nice to have a jelly plate, but I don't know, you know, if I'll use it that much. And you want to kind of get the impression or uh, the same kind of a look. This is a, a fun way to do it without the expense of a jelly plate. If you have embossing folders, get yourself some tin foil, heavy duty tin foil, and have at it. See what happens, right? All right, so now on this one, I want to try. Oh, let's see what I have here. I have some more fabric, of course. This is uh, a portion of an old, um, I don't know, might have been a napkin. You see, I've got that, you've got that uh, open work there. I'm trying to spritz it just ever so slightly. Let's get this guy out of the way. I'm going to turn him this way, and I'm just going to put my piece of fabric down. Let's see what happens. Now, I want to do another print on my envelopes, but I didn't really want the first print because I thought it might be a little too heavy. But really, maybe it's the fabric because this is a tighter weave again. That's kind of nice. I'm going to spritz it again and try to get. I should have started at one end and then moved down. But I wasn't thinking to do it that way, which I think might have been a smarter choice. I wonder if I spritz, if that will help it sop up any. So I've got some more print there. And then I'm going to go back down here. So, you know, I can tear this fabric and I can use it on the edge of a page of my journal. I can use strips of it uh, on any kind of a greeting card or collage. Use it for a cluster. I could really even cut it and use it as a pocket. Now I don't have too much color left here, so I'm going to add a little more blue. Am my blues? I still have a lot of this purple. Am my blues? Do, 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 do. I still have a lot of the green. Just put a little green. A little greeny. And some yellow. I'm just about out of my yellow. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I was going to put new nails on. I thought, oh, you know, I just want to mess around with this a little bit more. Went to mom's yesterday. By the time I got home, I just wasn't in the mood to mess with the mess. So I need a little bit of moisture down here to get that purple moving. Moving in a grooving. Uh, now, if you have UPO or uh, photo paper, my photo paper that I have just wasn't working real great. Uh, so I think it was, I picked it up at uh, Goodwill. So I think it was just a cheaper, I guess there's different grades. And I mean, it felt slick on the top. But it kind of spotted 
when I would put the uh, ink on, it kind of made spots. I'm not sure where I threw that or I could show you. Um, so it got more kind of like amoeba, amoeba-ish. All right, now I'm going to try to get a print on the flip side of my little cover here. So, spritzy, spritzy. Oh, I've got more pages. Oh, that's cool. Look, I've got three, three pages. So let's do the inside. So it's all kind of uniform. Uh-oh, we've got stickage. So that's okay. I'll hit that with my heat gun. And I'm going to spritz that a little more. And I'm going to do this half of the envelope. See if I can get some of a print on that. Not too shabby. And that looks like that's drying pretty well too. Now it's getting a little faded. Because I'm using up that ink. Let's do this side. You don't mind if I make a journal while I'm recording, do you? See, now where's my, my paper towel? I'm going to try to wipe that off of that tin. It's like these are tin foil lined um, envelopes that I had. All right, and then again, so just repeat, wash and repeat. I think I want to go this way. And then I'm going to put more ink on there to do this back cover. This is going to be, this is going to be a cute journal. All right, let's reload. Reload. And that might be it after that. I'm not sure that I have anything else. I, oh, I have one more piece of fabric I was going to try. That might look cute with the flowers on it. So I probably will try that. And then I'm going to clean it up. So I'll put in my description box my other video, which was ultimately a live. And um, there you can see me. If you see now, what I'm doing is I'm pushing down with the tip of my ink bottle. I should have. I should have uh, paid more attention to that. And I'm making extra lines, which I don't really want. Oh, boy, I got out of control with that. Um, so be careful if you are, are working with the tin foil, not to hit your foil, unless you want to make some random marks. It's all good, really, right? All good. And um, if you're interested or you're not sure about embossing and what that's all about, you can go to my live and watch me do that. And like I said, if you have any questions and I can help you with anything, just leave me a little message and I'll be glad to get back to you. All right. Now I'm going to try to do this other side of the cover. I don't know which is going to be the front and which is going to be the back at this point. But I'm going to spray this with my plain alcohol. And put down my envelope. And give a gentle little press. Cool. 
と。I like the airiness of it, really. Oh, here, here's something that, see, this is my photo paper. See how it just kind of adhered and didn't move too much. All right, so I'm going to spritz this again. And I've got this, I don't know, this is not a napkin. It's so small. I don't know what they would have used this for, but it's vintage. Feels like it's been starched. And of course, I've got that open work. I'm going to try to get this. Shame this isn't square. Let's go on an angle. Let's see if I can get anything to come up. So the next time you're at Goodwill and you see a package of old handkerchiefs, you might want to pick it up. You could use muslin for sure. Cotton, plain, some paint, plain cotton. Or like I used that one piece, it was more like a canvas. That looks cool. Now I'm going to spritz again and see if I can just pick up some other little images here. So, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy this experiment and uh, that you'll try maybe getting some alcohol prints without using a jelly plate. I'm going to finish up here and then I'm going to sign off. We're just under an hour, so that's not too bad. You know, I get you get a yik yak in here. <laughs> Again, I'm so glad for you to join me. Please let me know if I can answer any questions for you. And don't forget to take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. And I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.